No, but you told the story. What story? Like Elisa Lam, like that was a big one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about it? So do you know the Mandela effect of Elisa Lam? Does a Mandela effect or Elisa Lam? Yeah. So Loki, I don't remember because um how you told the story. Yeah. But was Elisa Lam you told it was the water tank yeah. was closed. Was it what do you mean closed? It was closed. Like the water tank in like in the story, how she died when cops found her. She, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They the, had to lift the water tank up because it was she closed. was she was in the tank, yeah, body floating, no clothes on. No clothes on. No clothes closed, on, yeah. Right? But in actual reports, the tank was actually open. Tank was open? Yeah. So that's No, they like, opened it though. That's how they found her, no? No, no. It was like open like that and they they just leaned over and found the body. Like this isn't a police report. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. So that's the Mandela effect. People that's think the, it was yeah, closed. That's, like that. that's a, the little like um, detail that everyone, I guess, gets confused. Mm. But yeah, that's that's, that's a Mandela cool. effect. Yeah. So every, a lot of people remember it being open. Being open. Oh no, being closed. Being closed. I heard. You know that that Cecil Hotel. Yeah. That hotel. I don't know if I said it on the other episode. Like, there's serial killers that have hella stories there, bro. Cecil. Yeah, I the think Cecil you did Hotel. Tell it. I, think I said you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just that. Word. It's not just that. So the theory goes that mm -hmm. maybe because of all the killings that happened there, yeah, the spirits are roaming around and just fucking with everybody. Yeah. To be honest, if if you have a hotel with a hell of spirits, would mm -hmm. you even what do you even want to stay there? Yeah. I, look. I just want to. I just want to see what's up. I just because that's always thing about the the Fairmont. I always talk about the Fairmont. The Fairmont. But if we ever go on a trip, yeah. We gotta go to the Fairmont and just check. It. Like at that's least such once, a, that's bro. just the most random shit. Because usually you know, when when you're going like your boys, you want to yeah. go to Banff, you want to see all this cool shit. But now, Carla, you're like, nah, let's go to like a haunted hotel. You know what I want to do though? I want to actually get one of those fucking like um the spirit box shit. Wait, spirit box? Like, you know, like you know what a spirit box is? <laughs> so you order a box with like ghosts in it? And no, then you <laughs> no. You never heard of what a spirit box is? No, no, no. So it's like this box, right? It's mm -hmm. kind of like a radio. There was this inventor a long time ago. He, yeah. he really wanted to contact spirits. Okay. And I think he his wife was like a medium or something. Yeah, so yeah. they invented this box. It's called a spirit box. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like a radio where it can pick up frequencies of... Oh. Of paranormal experiences also around, like, like what the ghost hunters use. Yeah, it's exactly, ah, exact same right. shit. But it's not so like um, it's not so digital. It's more like a, it's like a, it's old tech. It's okay. old yeah, ass yeah. tech. Yeah, and it looks like wooden, and there's like springs and shit popping yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, okay. And they used it on um on X before. Wait, when like X, X died, yeah, they brought it. They brought it to his grave, and then like he was, no. he was dying. Yeah, really, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Oh my god, what do you think um of the people who were posing? I think um, uh, all the fans were posing in front of his grave. What do you think about that? Like posing, think, yo, because if if a celebrity <laughs> dies, like everybody's gonna wanna. Yeah. But there was a guy, and like you know how V Lone has the V, and like the typical model is like he turned his back against the world, right? Oh. And then he was taking he was taking bare photos with of the like, V Lone. X, yeah. I mean, that's just how it's gonna be because that's yeah. the fan base. So mm -hmm. you, you can't much, you can't expect much from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, I'm a fan too. Yeah, I, I would, I would probably take a pick there too. Sure, but like, it's, sure. it's nothing. It's definitely not out of disrespect or mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, going back to Mandela effects real okay. quick because I have this crazy one. Yeah, yeah, that you know about. I know about. You know about, but you never realized it. Listen, okay, let me see. You ever heard about the hypnotic Mandela effect? Wait, hypnotic the drink? Hypnotic the drink. The blue one. <laughs> the blue one, yeah, right? Yeah. So everybody everybody knows hypnotic, the blue drink. It's yeah. like um like you know how it turns and it yeah, yeah. shimmers and shit? Shimmers? Yeah. It, it, I guess. It's like glistens, whatever, okay, right? Yeah. That's what makes it cool. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it's blue. Facts, facts. So hypnotic, right? Yeah. Do you how do you remember it being spelled? Uh H Y P O N E T I C. T I C or a, or a Q. T I C. Nah, it's the Q. It's the Q. But listen, listen, listen. Yeah. But that's not even the Mandela effect. What is it? The Mandela effect is hypnotic. Okay. The alcohol yeah. doesn't have a Y in hypnotic. So what? it's not H Y P. Wait, it's H P. Listen. Go on, go on, look at this. The Y is it, how is it pronounced hypnotic? Look, then? look, look. What? Hypnotic. <laughs> No, I actually remember. <laughs> no, because look, why Why does it make sense to have no, just no, the fam. P? It should have the Y. No, that has hypnotic. No, nah, that has to remember a Y, though. Like, oh my gosh. Hold on, hypnotic drink. Boom. Let me see. Look at that shit. No Y. There's no Y beside the P, bro. 
What? That doesn't look right, man. What? That doesn't look okay, this right. Kinda, this guy's kind of crazy. What? That doesn't look right. Anytime I seen the bottle, anytime we drank it, yeah, whatever. Why? Add a Y. What? And it doesn't look right. Like, why would it just be a P? <laughs> no, and the Q throws me off too. Like the whole thing. The Q throws you off? Yeah, because I thought it was I thought it was T I C. Because obviously that's how you spell that's it. That's how you spell it. That's how you spell it. I remember the Q, but I don't remember not having a Y. What nah. the fuck? Nah, that's weird. Right? That's weird. That's weird. It look it looks so like it yeah. doesn't look right to me. Like when I look <laughs> at him, like, nah, something's yeah, yeah. messed up I in know. the fucking in nah. the simulation. Do you remember it like that? I remember with a Y. Yeah. Maybe Everybody it's what he remembers Maybe it's because men are just super drunk that they're they're like, yo, let me get the hypnotic. And they're like, oh, how do you spell that? And then they'll spell it the right way. Because <laughs> there's no way it's HP. I mean H no, right to nobody, P. Nobody remembers nah, that. Nah, that's shit. so stupid. That's so stupid. Okay, I have another one for you. What? And it's another like logo one. Okay. So look at this. Soju? <laughs> nah, bro. Hold on. Imagine you said soju. Soju. <laughs> it's like spelled. Uh, C C S O J U. <laughs> I, I would, I would, Hell no! Wait, S. That's how you spell it. What? Soju S O J U S O J U. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said something else. No, no, no. S O G U. Nah. Okay. Look. So look. This is the next one. <clears throat> okay. So this one's far. Okay, okay. When you okay. look at it, you'll see right away. Uh, bye, bye, bye. All right. I'm gonna show you two pictures, right? Mm -hmm. And tell me which Batman logo looks right to you. Okay, let me this see. is a huge Mandela effect. Okay. Everybody's looking at the Batman logo like, nah, something's wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. Does this look right or does this look right? Wait, they look the same. Hold on. Wait, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. Wait, 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 what's the difference? So look at this Batman logo. Okay. And then look at this one. Which one's the right one? Fam, they look the same. I'm not going to. No, lie. look at the bottom. Look. There's like extra. Oh, wait, hold on. Look. This one. This one looks right. This one looks right to you? Yeah, this one looks right. Yo, Gavin's an NPC. No, this one looks Gavin, right. No. You remember that? Yes. You don't remember this? Bro. There's extra. No way you remember it like that. Gavin, listen to me. So this logo, right? That's not the right one. No, this is the right logo. Listen, listen. Wait, that's the right logo? Listen, the right logo. Look, look, look. So, so this Batman logo, right? Yeah, that's the one. This Batman logo is from 1989, right? Okay. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. So... In the movie, right? In mm. the movie, this isn't even the original like cover art. I think they just put that that logo on top of it. Yeah. But in the movie, his Batman logo on his chest okay. has these three extra like tips, yeah. right? Yeah. Now the real logo is this one. And on all of the art, yeah. on all of like the movie covers and posters and shit, it has this logo, right? Okay. Any of the toys, <laughs> any of like um commercial items, right? Yeah. Has that logo. Huh? But it's only Batman's chest has this. Oh, so, so, oh. so it's a Mandela. Everybody, everybody's like, wait, yeah. Why does Batman's chest look different mm -hmm. from everything else? So the theory is something yeah. happened in the universe. Feel me? Okay. And mixed up. Yeah. But one thing that didn't change in that universe was was the logo was logo on his chest. Uh, but everywhere else, it changed. Yeah. But like on a Walmart T-shirt, you'll see the, you'll see the OG the logo OG. Oh. exactly. So no, it, to it's be messing honest, everybody's head. Which which logo do you like better? Because I feel like the, the the first one you showed me, yeah. the one with a lot of spikes, makes more sense. Because the it, the the one with just one looks like a cartoon. No, but too, that's that's the real logo. No, nah, it looks too childish. It looks too. It looks like a kid drew it. This nah, one. this is the like real an one. Though. Artist drew this one. <laughs> nah, Gavin, bro, you're from the other dimension. You really man. thought really? Yes, you're from the other dimension. Really? Bro. No, that's kind of crazy. Like how some people can can get Mandela effects mixed up. So, so like me, like right there. Yeah. I I know it's that one, but you know it's the other one. See, that's what gets mixed up, bro. <clears throat> yeah. That's what. That's why it's so crazy. That's why Mandela effects are yeah. so fucking mind boggling. That is because everybody remembers one, one thing, thing yeah. and it could be a majority, but the people don't. Exactly. They're like, nah. I'm, I believe, I like believe, a, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. So it's like a, a different dimension. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. like a different dimension. Exactly. Okay, well, test it right here. So when you're in like grade five science lab, right? Yeah. Okay, they always said when you have hot water or just warm water mm -hmm. and you put a frog in and then the, on the other side, yeah. there's also boiling water. You turn on the oven yeah. and then the frog jumps out. Okay, right? okay. Always, right? Do you remember that lesson? Where like a frog will stay in, in the cold in the hot warm water, yeah. but as soon as it gets hot, 
they jump because out. they're cold blooded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this Mandela effect is kind of like the rib one. Mm -hmm. It's like a scientist one mm -hmm. where when when your rib grows back. Yeah. But this one is like no the 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 cold the, I mean the fucking frog. Yeah. Will stay in the warm water. Will stay in the warm yeah. water. Yeah, in the in the boiling hot water, it won't jump out like our our science teachers told us. What the hell? No, but but aren't they cold blooded? No. I mean, I, no, they they are cold blooded though. But it wouldn't yeah. it make sense for them to stay in the in the cold because they love cold. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Whatever. Remember? Don't you remember our science teacher when they turned the oven on? Frog. There's yeah. a picture of a frog always jumping out. So is, is it the opposite now? It's the opposite. Like Whoa, it wasn't a thing. What the yeah. Fuck? I know that kind of blew my mind too. Okay. Th this one. This one will blow your mind. Ready? <laughs> this one? one's crazy. Look, look, look. Okay. This is another science one. Yeah. Now, lightning. Thunder and electricity, right? Okay. Now you know how that story of um, what was his name, the Benjamin Franklin with the with the kite yeah. and the key in the sky, uh -huh. right? So there's a Mandela effect okay. that everybody remembers. Yo, you shouldn't bring like metal outside during a during a thunderstorm. Yeah, yeah. During a lightning storm, whatever, mm -hmm. right? For sure. Never wear like heavy metal. Never like hold like a metal pole, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the metal is gonna like attract electricity. Mm -hmm. Take this in. Yeah. There's no scientific evidence that lightning is attracted oh, to metal. Yeah. To be honest, who made that? <laughs> it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's just, it's a good conductor, mm -hmm. but it won't specifically target metal. Yeah, yeah. It will specifically target something tall. Mm -hmm. Like even if a, a wooden tree was in the middle of a field, yeah, yeah. just because it's taller than everything else, it will hit that. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with metal. Now uh -huh. get this, get this. Okay, Look, okay. so in Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, one of the features of the game was yeah. if you have like that big master sword on your back yeah. and you're walking out in the in a thunderstorm, uh -huh. you'll get struck. You'll get, get struck. struck. So, so you have to put your sword away. Okay. So in the game, they mm. believe that the thunder would hit metal. Oh, that is attracted to metal, but it doesn't. So oh. everybody thinks it does, yeah. but it really doesn't. Yeah, because like the umbrella tip, you know how the umbrella has a tip? Yeah. I swear that's always metal. Like most of them are metal, mm. right? So everyone be would be a target to, th to lightning and thunder if that was a actually true. Is it metal? It could, yeah, actually you're yeah, right. No, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Some, some are, no, cause they're always gray and mm. that's, that's definitely metal. Yeah, so, so it does, it's not true. Yeah, an umbrella is lily. That stick is kind of, I think is made out of metal. Yeah. Some of them. But why is it that everybody remembers that? Right? Why is it like oh, that? No, no. Wait, I, I swear in movies and cartoons, you remember like when somebody gets struck, it's like, it's like holding something. That's like, probably I think, why. I think Bugs Bunny or something. Yeah. Or Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, so he would be like this. And then, you know, the, the graphic. Like, mm -hmm. eh. Yeah, yeah, boom, yeah. yeah. That's probably why then. Yeah. It's just like constant conditioning of mm -hmm. that same thing. Because look, in the Legend of Zelda game, same thing. Like, yeah. oh, we'll continue off that play because yeah, everybody yeah. remembers it. <laughs> but it's not there true, was, there man. Was like, there was like a karma video where a guy robbed the house. And as soon as he was coming out the house, yeah. he got struck by like I don't know if it's a, this is fake. But if it's an edited video, this he is... He got struck by lightning yeah, yeah. robbing the house? Yeah, I'll put the video for it. Yeah. And I'll remember this time. <laughs> but... The, he got struck in the driveway oh, once, shit. right? And he fell and it just missed him actually. Oh, and so he, And then he was walking a bit more and then this time yeah. he got struck again. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? No <laughs> way that's real. If again. that's real, that's God like saving yeah. that house. Yeah, that ass. That's crazy. What that the ass. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot on our minds, man. And you don't want to be worrying about what you have to wear every day. Yeah everyday problem and the perfect solution yeah. is our sponsor cuts clothing cuts clothing cuts clothing has perfected the art and science of men's shirts like just look at this bro yeah, it's facts. perfect fit the quality it feels great and i can throw it on without having to worry about mm -hmm. what am i gonna wear yeah is that your favorite piece this is definitely my favorite piece yeah how about you what's your favorite piece i got it on right now you feel me the burgundy long sleeve and you can I wear can, that out <laughs> I, can, I can go jogging in this and then right after i can go to dinner with my friends exactly cuts clothing has a solution for everything an essential in your closet they make it easy to mix and match colors and styles so you can always find something to go with yours long sleeve henley no problem short sleeve crew neck they got it yes sir they even developed their own fabric that can stand the test of time 
time. And their patented fabric won't pill, shrink, or fade over time in the wash. So join hundreds of thousands of guys who've made the simple decision to elevate their wardrobe with cuts. Get 15% off your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. That's C-U-T-S clothing.com slash jumpers for 15% off the only t-shirt worth wearing. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to click it. You know, man, I've been eating pretty unhealthy lately. Oh yeah, same to be honest. I think I got to get on like a meal plan or something, bro. Uh -huh, just quick, easy. Well, I actually have a solution for us. Okay. Shout out to our sponsor, Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle whether you're keto paleo vegetarian gluten-free or just looking for more balanced meals in your life green chef offers a wide range of recipes just for you so with fresh produce premium proteins and organic ingredients that you can trust green chef is the number one meal kit for eating well it makes cooking easy so you guys can spend less time stressing and more time enjoying delicious home-cooked meals green chef is the most sustainable meal kit on the market and it offsets 100% of our carbon footprint. Green Chef offers 24 always changing recipes to choose from every week. So you'll never get bored of the same old food. Go to greenchef.com slash jump 130 and get $130 off plus free shipping. Just use our promo code or go to that link. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click it. <laughs> Yo, imagine like... Let's say, let's say like a bank robbery happened or something. Oh shit. man. And then God like stops it somehow. Yeah, like yeah. That? They, he probably, probably has that energy. <laughs> Yo. You feel me? He's always watching. Yo. He's always you can watching. get smited, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> Don't go to jail just because of God. Okay, going back to Mandela effects, because I want to- Oh shit, there's more? No, there's, there's, it, it's not really Mandela effects, but it's something yeah. I want to talk to you about. Okay. So check this out, right? Uh huh. So it's kind of like Mandela effect, but it's a reverse. Yeah, okay. So there's this one guy. Hold on, I, I forgot his name. Let me, let me yeah, see yeah. his name. You know what would be a sick Mandela effect that I just thought of right now? What, what? Because so you know how like the videos are spread out and you get random tattoos all the time? <laughs> so so people there, yeah. yo, there's a Mandela effect. <laughs> that that night, that armor tattoo isn't real. <laughs> and the people going- it disappears, yeah. it shows up. <laughs> Because people are going back in the video like, wait, that why is it why is it added now? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, because it gets mixed up. For y'all yeah, yeah. that don't know, Facts. it's because we, we mix it up yeah. on the days. I actually have the tattoo head ass. Head ass. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a biggest <laughs> Yo, we got uh, biggest head I bust, bro. I should've, we should have just did it. I should have just did uh, it. That would have been perfect for this episode yeah, yeah. too, a Mandela effect episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> going back to my what I was talking about. Okay. okay, okay. So his name is Robert Smith. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. So back to what I was saying. Okay. So pretty much this is a reverse Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. So instead of everybody remembering the same thing yeah. and it's been changed, yeah. it's just one guy uh -huh. that remembers something and nobody else does. Okay. But listen, listen, but it's very important. Okay. Because this guy, Robert Smith, right? Mm -hmm. He's, he's at, I think, the lead singer of the band The Cure. Yeah. And he made a song. It's called Friday. Okay. Right? Now, this song, he says, and he still claims to this day, he's the one that wrote it. Uh -huh. He said, I got this melody and I got like this whole chord progression yeah. from a different song. Okay. Like I stole this. Like I don't I don't know where it came from, right? <laughs> yeah. And but he this is what happened. He asked everyone. He asked all of his friends, all of his bandmates, everybody. Every yeah. single person he could, he asked them, mm. do you remember this chord progression? Does this sound similar to anything? Nah. And you know what they said? Yeah. No, it, it doesn't sound like anything you heard before. But this is a fire song. Okay. This song ended up being like one of the top billboard, mm -hmm. billboard hits, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is where it gets crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So he goes on, yeah. right? The song blows up. He's still going with the fame, right? Uh -huh. Now, uh, a similar occurrence happened. What happened? So the Beatles, Paul McCartney. Listen, Wait. Paul McCartney uh -huh. had a very similar experience. Okay. So Paul McCartney, he wrote a song, mm -hmm. right? He wrote a song. Yeah. And nobody, he, he, he said he took it from somewhere. Yeah. Or he like heard it before and he put it down because he wanted to pay homage to it. Okay. But he asked everybody, nobody remembers <laughs> that song. Okay. Nobody recognizes that, that melody, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So what happened is... That song ended up being the song Yesterday. Do you remember that song? No, I don't remember it. Okay, but Yesterday, yeah. they ended up making a movie about it. A whole movie? A movie about it. Listen, listen. So the movie Yesterday, yeah. 
it's about this guy mm -hmm. that he remembers the Beatles okay. and he gets transported into this dimension yeah. where the Beatles never existed. No. So that's almost like Paul McCartney where yeah. he remembers like there being this song, there, there this being this band that made this, uh -huh. but it doesn't exist in his universe. Word. So it's almost like that reverse Mandela effect. Mm. And that happened to, to Robert Smith and it happened to, to Paul McCartney now. Holy. Now check this out, okay. right? Yeah. In the movie yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So I told you what it's about. So he pretty much was in a universe where the Beatles didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And what he did since the Beatles didn't exist, yeah. he took all of the famous Beatles songs mm -hmm. and he performed it himself. So he became this huge star. Oh shit. Cause Paul McCartney's songs, like all of those songs, they're they're bangers. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Beatles yeah. was on top. Yeah, yeah. So he came out. Imagine present day, mm. present day playing the Beatles songs in a world where the Beatles didn't exist. That didn't exist. Now check this out. Okay. This is where it gets crazy. Okay. Okay. So one of the main characters in the movie uh -huh. was Ed Sheeran playing himself. Okay. Playing Ed him. Sheeran playing himself. Yeah, yeah. Now the theory is uh -huh. that Ed Sheeran is in this movie because it's almost like his confession tape to saying that he lives in a universe where a, a very famous band never existed uh -huh. and he took all of their famous songs. So oh, it's the and same that, ploy. Oh, okay. So it's like he sold his soul or something? No, he he's <laughs> in this dimension where nobody remembers. Oh, him. Yeah. So he has all the knowledge of these songs. Okay. That's why Ed Sheeran has back to back to back to back hits, billboard hits. 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 Okay. One of the top stream artists ever. Yeah, yeah. Right? Now, bro, I don't know if you know Ed Sheeran's story. Yeah. He was homeless. Oh, word? Ed Sheeran was homeless, bro. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was playing on the streets. <laughs> Damn. And he became to who he is now. Word. How did yeah, how do you do so that? So that's the theory. Just like in just like in that movie yeah. where he gets transported uh -huh. to the to that dimension where it doesn't exist. Okay. It might be his confession uh -huh. being in this movie that he was transported to a different dimension. Hopped in another universe. And he's using some famous band's music. Oh nah. Yeah. <laughs> so so did we get did we get famous based on oh we see we hopped in a different dimension and was like what's missing here <laughs> you know I mean? well kind of yeah yeah that that's that's pretty much do, what it do is do you have any remember of like oh hopping do you have dreams about hopping in multi like different dimensions different dimensions okay this is my theory on dreams maybe, though. yeah okay my theory on dreams is what yeah. if every single dream we have yeah is <clears throat> stepping into the doorway of the one of those multi dimensions. Yeah. So in a dimension, let's say, you know how the, you have those dreams where, oh, I'm with my crush, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, we're yeah, hanging yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So what if one of those dreams you had is that dimension that where dimension. you did yeah, yeah. hang out with them, whatever. Oh no, nah, that's kind of weird. That's like that mind blow yeah. shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> there's also, there's also like, um since I think you talked about meaning of dreams before, Yeah. but you know, if you have a dream where your car is spiraling, spiraling out of control, mm. that means that's, you know how it says like, you give meaning to your life through dreams? Yeah, yeah. It's like, if you have a car spinning out of control or you're in a place where you're like just spinning out of control, mm. that means like your life is getting out of track. Mm. Like you, you can't control that at all. And then if you mm. have, if you have those dreams where you're, you're losing teeth. Oh, I told this before, oh, did didn't you? I? Did you? Okay, well, what, what, what is it? What, what's the losing teeth one for you? Oh, the losing teeth one? Fuck. What is it? What is it? Fuck, you made me forget it. Oh. Well, what was yours? What was yours? Mine, okay, this is, this is like an Asian superstition. <laughs> okay. That if you have a dream of you losing teeth, yeah. it means one of your family members is going to die. Word. Yeah. No, that mine was losing money. Oh. I don't know why. I think that's a, a general superstition. Nah, but the Filipino, like, Asian superstition yeah. is if you have dreams of teeth falling out, yeah. that's like your family members falling out uh, of your life. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe that nah, mine was different. Yeah, that's the Asian yeah, one yeah. though. But you know, yo, there's a new movie that just came out. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this one. We have to go see it. It's like, oh, it's um, it's the A24 film with the girl from Crazy Rich Asian. I know you're talking you about. How did you? How the fuck did you know that? <laughs> no, I know, I know. Trust Everything, me. everywhere, all at once. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't watch it yet, but my sister recommended it to me. I'm gonna watch it's it. Fire! I was waiting for it to come out, but yeah, yeah. for some reason they don't have it in all theaters. Yeah, that's on cheap. No, th th there was one at the SEC. Oh, SEC, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't have they don't have one. They don't here, have yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, cheese, yeah. bro. No, but look, that ass, that's that has a jumpers film. Like, yeah, it is. Like, it is. That's literally multi dimensions jumping through multi dimensions mm -hmm. and shit like that. It's yeah, exactly. And bro, I think 
I think this whole idea of the multiverse stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it so crazy how it's, it's very prominent now? Yeah. Right? So Rick and Morty, let's say like last year, two years ago, uh -huh. started with that multi-dimension shit, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. And then Marvel started multi-dimension shit. Look mm -hmm. at the next Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. Multiverse of Madness. Every, everyone wants to right? do the multiverse. And then now, look, look at even DC is doing multiverse shit. Mm -hmm. Even that movie, the A24 film, multiverse yeah. shit. Yeah. Now tell me, tell me something, Gavin. Yeah. Why is it that all of these Mandela effects come out? All of these like talks of, whoa, did we switch that realities? Whoa, yeah. did, did do we move on to like a, a new a new world? Start being popular. Yeah, all all these things start being prominent now. Yeah. To be honest, it's yeah, like perfect I, timing, no? I know, I know. <laughs> Loki, when we dropped our first one, yeah. I think the, the Boots Popsicle is the one that went crazy first. Mm. And then we started kept doing it. Yeah, it, that became another like one of our niches. So now it's not no, just No, but it's, it's just like, what's crazy though, yeah. is there's more new ones like coming out every week. Yeah. But it's almost <laughs> like we heard some before yeah. in the past. But there was maybe what, like five, six? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but now that shit is like piling up. So, so is this all uh, government propaganda to sell more movies? Because movies wasn't doing shit. You know, Netflix, mm. how Netflix wasn't um, making money, it's going bankrupt. To be honest, Squid Game might save it, but you feel me? Mm. I feel like the, the Squid Game shit, they should have just ended it. Because there, there's, a, there's a fine line of like a good yeah. and then no sequel at the end. It wasn't made for a sequel, right? True. So, I because I think I think he he even killed that same book in the um, yeah, exactly in so, the first season. Exactly. And now they want to bring her back yeah. as a twin, I like know, all this shit. It what it is now. They're just trying to like recover or at least ba make a make a yeah. legacy off because of it. they know they know Sabiuk is the main one people simp for. Yeah. So m might as well make money off that. But I don't, I don't believe in that shit like that. See, this is what it becomes. It. This is what it becomes. It becomes where a great artist right has yeah. this piece of work. <clears throat> now. This, I think this is what separates like great artists from like regular artists yeah. is where not to say that director isn't a great artist. Yeah, exactly. He is. He made that. But let's say you have a great piece of work, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. And that great piece of work is selling like crazy. Mm -hmm. Would you want to change it to sell more? No. Because you know you can sell more. No. No, because me, I'm all about legacy still. If, if but that's tough though that's no. tough because it, it becomes like what are you chasing now this guy right yeah. this guy he deserves that though mm -hmm. feel me he deserves all the riches he yeah. didn't even get paid that much i know i know For, from a film that he was yeah. working on for so long exactly yeah that guy he should have got it. way more yeah so in his position what do you think you think he should is he taking the right path there's no wrong or right to, yeah, be, honest. to be honest it's either money or you want to save your legacy yeah but i i guess if 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 he deserved it, then he deserved it. Mm -hmm. Still, so take the, money. take the money. Just take the money. Yeah, honestly, honestly, just take <laughs> yeah, the money. Yeah. But what sucks is but then the, the legacy, the, 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 legacy game, the art is different. Yeah, I think I feel like Netflix is just gonna run that film to the ground. Oh, for sure. Just just because they for want sure. more money. I'm 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 a I'm a like predict it right now. Okay. You know what, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Yeah. The Walking Dead was so good. Yeah. Let's say like first three seasons, four seasons, or whatever. Yeah. It's just it went to shit because. They dragged it on. Oh, okay, yeah. But if they ended it off on like those three or four seasons, mm -hmm. I feel like we would still be talking about Walking Dead as being one of the greatest shows ever. Really? I think. Damn. Because it was such a big like deal. that They honestly made zombies popular. Yeah. If you really bag, they probably to made zombies honest, popular. To be honest. Yeah, that's facts. Right? Because when uh, Walking Dead came out, that's when they first launched Nazi zombies. Mm. That's nah, kind of crazy though. That's kind of crazy, no? <laughs> nah, Legacy Ruined. I got one more Mandela effect still. You have another one? Okay, yeah, let me hear it. It's actually Ox Wars. Ox Wars. <laughs> okay, okay. Because nah, you listen, listen, yeah. there's so many people in my DMs yeah. thinking it's me and you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, on, on the cover, I'm going to clear it up right now. This is Carlos, and I know I'm usually always in a hat, right? Yeah. But well, guys, <laughs> the Mandela effect is that I'm not on the Ox Wars cover. <laughs> It's Carlos and Jet. This is Jet because Jet is... helped me make. Shout out Jet. Jet helped yeah. me make Oxford. So that's why Jet's on the cover. Big Mandel effect. Because listen, I don't have curly hair. I mean, to be honest, it looks like it, me. It kind of does. It could look like yeah, you. Yeah, it could like. It like could look yeah. like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should have made him like a his Jet design on it. Then people would probably know. Yeah, you feel me? But but the the brown and the curly. Yeah. that's how you can tell. But it can look. I'm not gonna lie. If you go like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if you just go like that, <laughs> that's me. I go live. I go live. People, some people in the beginning were like, "Damn, Gavin, you and Carlos have this own app," and I, I was going with it. Yeah. I'm like, "Hell yeah, that's us." 
<laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me. No, but yeah, that's Jet. Shout out yeah. to Jet one time. Jet is exactly. I just wanna, I just wanna give Jet his um, no, Jet his, flowers his flowers real facts, quick. Facts. Let, let me give Jet his flowers real quick. Yeah, Jet, he is one of the greatest people yeah. in this creative scene right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, like he connected me to so many people, mm-hmm. and he just knows how to get everything done. Yes, yes. Like you'll have certain people in your life. Like mm-hmm. you'll have the creative, you'll have more of like the, the helper. Mm-hmm. You'll have like um, the followers or whatever. Now Jet, he knows every single one of those people where to yes, go. Bro. So it's like he connects dots. Yes. And you need that type of person I know, I know. everywhere. Yeah. Like you'll have somebody with a great idea, mm-hmm. but if but he they doesn't- don't know how to get it done. Yeah, they don't know how to get it done or they don't know which people to go to to, go to, to get yeah. it done. That's that asked me. Cause mm-hmm. I, have, I have so much designs I want to put out and then boom, I don't. I just don't know. I just don't have that go-to guy. Yeah. Right? But I'll tell the Jet story. Cause um, I think it was 2000, on uh, what was it when everyone was kind of like on streetwear now and everyone uh, had the cricket design um 20 like 2020 2020 yeah. that's when i dropped weekly studios okay okay so 2020 it was it was me starting a brand mm-hmm. and and jet randomly he like hit me up and took me in and we were just creating shit in his basement yeah i remember that and, i remember that yeah i think i was the first one with him to do yeah, it. yeah yeah and then so he was showing me all these t-shirts i'm like yo what the fuck mm-hmm. and then i was like writing stuff on, i was drawing because i have the ideas yeah. i just don't know how to get it done i draw stuff i send him a picture i'm like yo jet i need like this for my next drop mm-hmm. these four pairs of jeans mm-hmm. right and i didn't have the cricket he's like He's like, no, Gavin, I got you. Yeah. I send him shitty ass drawings, right? <laughs> and he makes the it. Design, and I come back and I have four jeans ready for wow. me. Wow. Like, I'm telling you, like, he was the first guy to ever, like, put my ideas into fruition. Mm. Like, it was crazy how he did it. Yeah. So, for all the aspiring creatives out yeah. there that want to... You need a jet, bro. Yeah, you need to find your jet. Like, yeah, that's our yeah. guy. That's, yeah, our guy. that's our guy. Like, anything yeah. we need, like... If I need advice on anything, if yeah. I need like, oh, where I get to go to get to yeah. this information, where I go to to get this running, yeah. right? He knows everything about that. Yeah. Right? You, you know, I found out about Jet through, because I, I didn't know he was not our age. Oh, yeah. You feel me? I, he was in my business class. His yeah, grade yeah. 12 business class, I think when he was in grade 10. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who is that guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who is that light-skinned guy over there? <laughs> he's like, nah, he's in a younger grade. But he moved like he was super mature and shit. Mm-hmm. Like the way he talks, I was like, oh, shit, this is proper. Yeah. I met him I met him in Muay Thai. That oh, was like, Muay Thai? <laughs> yeah, we went to the same Damn. gym. We went to the same gym. Yeah. And this is, I think this is even before we were in high school. Yeah. On, I think this was before we were in high school. Okay. I, I met Jeff. You guys go way back. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, but we, yeah, we were trained together, and yeah. then I seen him. I'm like, oh shit, you go here? Uh-huh. I'm like, oh fuck. No, nah, exactly. I just wanted to clear that up because I had no process in the Ox Wars game. <laughs> you know I mean? Don't give me credit. You know I mean? That's all Jet. That's, that's Jet. That's, that's Jet. Jet and Carlos. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, there's there's one thing I want to talk about real quick. Yeah, yeah. So this this is kind of like a it's kind of like a deep story, kind of like okay. not, but it's it's very interesting, right? Okay, okay. You know who Nico Cotto Avocado is? Yeah, the guy who eats mukbangs. Yeah, the mukbang yeah. guy, right? What happened? No, it, oh, um, I thought I, he died. I think something. he's in the hospital or something. Oh, fuck. I think he's he's okay. Yeah, but he's not like okay with his yeah, health. Yeah, for you sure. Know what for like, sure. Yeah. Okay, for the people that don't know, yeah. Nico Avocado, he's this um, mukbang YouTuber. Yeah, mukbang YouTuber. And what's crazy to me. He gained like what, let's say like two hundred pounds, yeah, something like that, yeah. doing these videos. I know, right? So he started off small YouTuber. He wasn't even doing mukbangs yeah. until like his first one. If you see past pictures, he was actually skinny. Like he, he was, was actually skinny. skinny. Yeah. Now check this out. Mm-hmm. Did you know he was vegan? No, he was vegan before that. No way. So he, he was to- vegan for like years. Nah, this was before he was famous. Before he was famous, uh, I already have a theory for this. Listen, listen. So, <clears throat> him and his uh his boyfriend, right? Yeah, I forgot his name. Damn it! But him and his boyfriend. Did you see that sad video of him? <laughs> He's like, "You ruined me." His yeah, boyfriend's like, yeah. "You ruined me." I don't know if that fuck. shit is a troll or that shit. No, is that, I think real. that's real. Holy so check fuck. this out. Yeah, Nico Caro Avocado. Yeah, he met his boyfriend in I think um South America. Yeah, listen. Through a vegan dating app, a vegan like forum, word, a vegan forum, bro. Oh my goodness! So check that out. Yeah. So they started off as vegans, uh-huh. started doing mukbangs, and now they're like pushing three hundred pounds. No, that's mine. Because of the success through the mukbang. Yeah, yeah. That 
that's that, crazy. Oh, that's the story. I thought I thought something bad happened to Nico. No, I yeah. I, I don't know, but like he's not in good health right yeah, now. Yeah, but to be honest, he was getting. I know I know it's like easy to hate on him, but at the same time, it's like, bro, you can't you can't feed more negative things into something already negative yeah facts facts right so if, if you're going through it with your with his boyfriend and all you see is oh nico you're fat Nico, you're fat like what are you gonna think yeah right no but what's what's crazy this is this is what i think about a lot mm-hmm. right yeah it's like do you think there's a threshold right yeah. like this um when you when you stop something mm-hmm. something that you like doing yeah. for example him eating a lot because he was a vegan yeah do you think there's this like floodgate that holds up holds back all that temptation and then one day it just explodes? Yes, that's everyone, bro. You mm. don't have that? You're telling me you don't have that? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking oh, you. No, do you no. think that's real? No. I think that's emotion. a real thing. Yes, pent up emotion because sometimes I'll just be out with my friends mm. and then I guess something, if we're watching a sad movie, it'll all come out. He'll cry because of the sad movie, mm. but then he'll be sad about other shit. Yeah. Like he'll, he'll trauma dump on me. He'll be there but i'll be there for him but the fact that it's all held in one like just to be honest you just got to get it out cry it out whenever you have a problem Mm. and then move on i think with anything even if it's like an addiction or let's say you're really craving something right i think there's that there's that floodgate that like it hold you're holding it back you're holding you're fighting it Mm -hmm. but if it ever bursts or ever like releases yeah shit it's coming it's coming with some full-fledged yeah, force i know yeah I, mean? I think i think the hardest thing that's why it's because no one wants to admit it mm. like especially with addiction like i was addicted to my phone mm. and whenever someone is like oh gavin you're on your phone again are you addicted i was like nah nah mm. but as soon as i started realizing like yeah i actually am addicted to my phone yeah then i can start making some changes i think i think it became to a point where everybody's addicted though i know i know but it was in my in my case it was it was okay too but i just want i had an addiction mm. addiction is addiction period it'll yeah, always yeah. lead to to more negative shit true if only. i i know but yeah. in in a in a way like um being addicted to our phones being addicted to like um technology yeah yeah i think that's that's like inevitable word Okay, but I have a question though with Nick, Nick. It's Nico, right? Yeah, Nico. So, do you think that he started these mukbangs, got famous, or like he just did like a troll video of mukbang? Yeah. He was vegan, right? Yeah, he was so vegan. Was it like he always wanted to do these mukbangs, but it got so big that he had to continue it? Hmm. Like it's it's. One I of think the, so. Where I think so. It's one of those questions. Like, would you keep doing it if you didn't even really like it, but you were getting fame off that? No, I think he liked it too. Really? I think he just liked it. Bro, eating food is probably fun. Nah, to bro. be honest, I'm like, some of the mukbangers I see, like, what do they do after Viz? They gotta work out, like, 100. Nah, they don't. Some people don't. Yeah, some people Like, are... you know the man versus food guy? Oh. I think I think he was in the hospital too. Yeah, no, but he got he actually got fat. Yeah. But there's other uh, YouTubers, like, oh no, FoosyTube was a big one. FoosyTube is He didn't do mukbangs. No, though. he didn't do mukbangs, but, like, his transformation from where he started early mm. to what is right now, yeah. he's had so many complications. So <laughs> he was like, like, he was D's. <laughs> and then he was skinny. Listen, 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 this guy went from a normal guy, and then he he wanted people to uh to have empathy for him. Mm. So he did like that home. I don't know if you remember this era, but he went out and was homeless. He did like homeless for a hundred days challenge. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Did you notice? No. Nah. And then he went into YouTube boxing. Okay, let me dick ride some some big YouTubers or some big. No, TikTokers. we had the pranks in between. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that's, that's like the, legacy. That, that was, that was yeah. the origin. That was the origin. <laughs> Origin homeless boxing, and then he went into some next uh super skinny like he he doesn't even he's look like healthy. House now he's yeah, he doesn't yeah, look yeah. healthy no more. And then now he's like oh fitness fitness. Mm. Oh my god, that transformation is. And we have seen it all through our eyes. No, but that I okay. Here's here's ways you can look at it. You can look yeah. like whoa, what's going on? But yeah. honestly, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, big ups to Fuzi too, just because like he took let's say lowest lows mm-hmm. to highest highs and yeah. then down back again to lowest lows and then but back up again to highest highs. Feel me? Yeah. Like this guy's relentless. Yeah. No, I think that's just because of the straight connections he had. True. For sure. True. true. And it's kind of cool seeing how uh, we, see, you know how the YouTubers you grew up with, you yeah. know, Evan Tube, Evan Tube. Yeah. Yeah. He's old now. Eh? Yeah. That's kind of crazy to see. Yeah. He's grown cra- up. Yeah. The craziest one to me is LaMelo Ball because his whole um, f- go- going famous, mm-hmm. like a uh, progression was caught on camera. Yeah, knew, that's true. We knew LaMelo Ball since he was a kid, right? Yeah. So boom, now he's in the NBA. Mm. And it's cool to see like, oh, since we're still like mm-hmm. teens, 
No, you guys get to see the whole progression. You guys get to see the whole progression. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. Who knows what I'm going to be doing like 10 years from now. That Holy ass, that shit. Ass. That ass. It's going to be crazy yeah, to yeah. see how a lie. And then it's like, you're doing you're doing your thing, and then I'm in like a taekwondo studio, like a monk. <laughs> I actually become the monk. Yo, <laughs> become a monk. Yeah, because you've been preaching like monk shit the whole time, so it just kind of comes to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there's there's this um, because I listen to you know you know Jordan Peterson, Jordan Peterson. Who's that again? He's like <sighs> Jordan Peter. I, I, he, I he's a guy that really breaks down like um, philosophy and just um, okay. human behavior. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. So he has this quote, right? Yeah. Oh, was it him? I think it I was. Think I know the quote you're about to say. It's like if you're having a bad day, just say this word. This. No, this no, sentence. no, not that, not oh, okay, that, okay. not that. Okay, there's kind of two quotes I want to talk about. Okay. The, there is a Jordan Peterson one, but yeah. there's one I want to talk about first. Mm -hmm. I think it was Mike Tyson, actually. Oh, Mike Tyson? So, Mike Tyson? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Tyson. You have to say it like him. <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that sucks if you're like an influencer speaker and like no one takes you serious because you have a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me... Hold on. <sighs> yeah. Right, let, me, let, me get, let me get back to what I was saying. And the quote is... <laughs> I, so not because it's a serious one it's yeah, a serious yeah. one so i think mike it was mike tyson that said it uh -huh. he was talking about the samurai right mm, and okay. there was this philosopher too that yeah. he was quoting how there should never be um let's say let's say you have a warrior okay right now to have a great warrior mm -hmm. he cannot be too kind nor can he be too evil not as facts I right that the hard like way. you can't be too strong or you can't be too peaceful. Yeah, yeah. There has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. So whether whether or not your ego goes like this, yeah. right? There has to be something else that balances at the same. Mm -hmm. Because if one is teeter tottering the other, people will notice. You can fall into trouble. Look, yeah. if you're too peaceful, mm -hmm. people won't take you seriously, take advantage of you, blah blah blah. Yeah. If you're too stern, assertive, mm -hmm. blah blah blah, then people will, you know, yeah, they won't like you as much, blah yeah, blah yeah, blah, shit like that. Now. This whole philosophy is mm -hmm. the great warrior, the greatest man you can be yeah. is the one that can balance everything together. No okay. matter what situation happens, yeah. let's say you get into a fight, okay. right? Now, you know, you can beat that person up. Mm -hmm. You can probably beat them up if they really wanted to, yeah. if they wanted to fight you. Mm -hmm. Now, you can also be that person to be peaceful yeah. and you can, you can uh, stop it from even happening. Mm -hmm. So the, war the great warrior can do both. Yeah. Oh. That's and nice. I think that's so true with everything. Not even just being a warrior, with being an entrepreneur, with being yeah, even like a businessman, like anybody, anybody. Yep. Be a doctor. Like you have all of these strengths, mm -hmm. but you have all of these um suppressors that are holding you mm -hmm. grounded. Yeah. Okay, but it, wouldn't it be a loss still on the warrior if you still fight the guy? Because I I feel like it's like oh you always got to be peaceful right no 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 but what, what what point does it come to where you actually have to fight nah there, you, there's, you, there's times you got to fight okay yeah there's time there's times let's say like your life's in danger mm -hmm. there's times you have to fight yeah you know what i mean like mm -hmm. even look let's say let's say you're in a position where if you don't fight you'll look very weak very weak and you'll be you'll be kicked up yeah. after that you know yeah that's for sure if anyone touches my family i i I'm automatically fight yeah, like, it doesn't matter how scared I am. I know I'm known for the like the scared fight or flight, but nah, mm -hmm. family. I was like, nah, you're, I, I'm rushing in. Yeah, if I, yeah. If I die, I die, fam. Like I don't <laughs> care. Did I tell you how I knew my, like my fight or flight? How? So I almost I almost got hit by a car. Oh, did oh, I tell no, you about no, this? No, yeah. I think you did tell this on the I podcast. I think I told yeah. yeah, I told this on the podcast. But that's exactly when I knew like yeah. I'm I'm fight not flight. Because yeah. right when they try to hit me with a car, yeah. what I do, Muay Thai stance. <laughs> I swear to God. You did Yo, I swear to God, I thought I thought what it was was people trying to come and kill me. Yeah. That's what yeah. I thought it was. This guy squared up with a car. Yeah, but it was just him like he he didn't mean to like he didn't see me in the way. <laughs> no, no way, but it hit you, right? No, it almost hit almost me. Hit I, I backed you. out yeah, of the yeah. way. I did the yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. I did the Spider-Man, bro. In, in that position, I would be like, instead of the Muay Thai fight, fuck that. I'm I'm jumping forward <laughs> and then I'm flopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my leg. <laughs> I'm getting a nice back from that. You feel me? No, but, I, but, but for me, like right when I saw him, I'm like, okay, survival, boom. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't me thinking. It yeah. was just like all Facts. animal instinct, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you see the guy, the drunk guy and the professional boxer in Las Vegas? 
Nah, which so, one? So this guy, there was this, uh, I guess, professional boxer and like a random guy. Yeah. Like, I guess a gangster. And he was in the casino. They were both in casino. Probably, I'm pretty sure he was drunk, mm. but he started, the, the random guy started throwing punches at the boxer. No right? shit. Right? And, and the boxer was like, trust me, fam, you don't want this. Like, I'm 14 and 0. I'm 14 and 0. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm warning you, yeah, you don't want yeah. it. And then the boxer, and like the, the gangster guy's like, <laughs> he's throwing <laughs> up like gang signs and there's like all right let's do it so the boxer takes off all his rings all his rings yeah he's like, i'm gonna give you one more opportunity everyone's fighting he looks at the camera he's like i'm 14 to no i'm 14 to no right <laughs> the boxer is ready they're in the stands yeah the random guy throws a punch oh he the, the professional boxer only did one punch pop counters oh shit slap, slap. he goes to the camera 15 and 0 15 and 0 <laughs> That's crazy. Damn, that's, that's that's the greatest video I've ever made, man. Exactly. No, it's so funny because I guess like I don't know what's in going through your mind. He's telling you he's a professional boxer. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen to no, he's literally called the grave digger or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he gets slumped. It's just people's egos, man. Yeah. They get blinded by that yeah, shit. They get so blinded. Yeah. And and I think an ego, it's like getting in the way of yourself. I said this before. It's yeah. like getting in the way of yourself. Yeah. Like if you take it too far or like you get into that, that zone where you don't see, it's tunnel vision, like yeah, you're yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything in the in the way and you're just looking yeah. straight at one thing. Yeah. That's when the, the dark shit seeps in. I know. On the sides. I know. But an ego is good though. Like sometimes, because I remember I was in like these, you know what I told those accounting things. And yeah. everyone has this like big ego. And I, I've, I've always never like, went out of my way to talk to talk mm. but everyone's bringing oh i'm part of this big cpa i'm part of this big cpa and i'm looking at them like bro that shit is so unattractive oh to like yeah like just just brag about how much money you make mm. like i would never i would never brag about how much money i make like yeah. earnings like that's pocket watching like i would never yeah do yeah that. exactly you exactly I mean? yeah no i think that's lark. i would I, so I, I never i never do that yeah even exactly. to like even to just my family, I don't even tell them. Exactly. Oh yeah. Nah. Oh word. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Like I'll, I'll draw some like, subtle hints, but like I'm not. Yeah. I don't straight up like, oh, guess what I'm in today. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks, thanks, thanks. Did you guys know? <laughs> no, but if I do tell them Head what ass. I made today, then I'll have to treat them out because they know, and they'll probably get pissed. <laughs> I'm not sharing the wealth. That, that, that's how you gotta play like you gotta play the smart filipino family mindset yeah, bro like no, no, no. for sure for sure <laughs> like <laughs> for sure you know if you have money you don't talk about it yeah, bro yeah yeah dead ass dead ass but yeah that's funny. <laughs> and for tax evasion too you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm playing a play don't don't say that yo. don't say that yo but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah i have this story fam yeah. So we were talking about the warriors and the samurais mm -hmm. there's this guy there's this japanese guy did you know about the guy who escaped prison with just the soup bowl with just a soup bowl oh I, I think i heard of this yeah i think i heard okay, of this so shit. listen listen so this guy <laughs> wait this, he's like he's like famous right uh, yeah he, bro he has a statue <laughs> yeah he has a statue in japan yeah yeah yeah. so so this guy went all his life i think he was good mm -hmm. until he got into gambling mm -hmm. you feel me and then boom he gambled his life away that's some squid game yeah real shit real <laughs> shit and then he was accused for murder that he didn't even know that he did. He's mm. like, what the fuck? Why are you guys blaming me for murder? He was put into jail, right? Yeah. So boom. They lock him up. He's in his uh, he's in his um uh, little room, right? He finds on the ground a little steel wire. Oh shit. Easy yeah. escape, right? Gets the lock, picks the lock, mm. escapes. Once he escapes, yeah. the cops find out he escapes, puts him back into his jail cell. Right? Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now second time. He sees that there's a vent on the roof. <laughs> this time, unscrews unscrews the, the little screws, mm -hmm. gets out of the vent, escapes. Oh, shit. The cops find out again. He's so, put, so they put him back in? He put him back in. So this was the second escape. So now the third. They got to like this. vamp up the security or exactly. some shit. So this is how they vamped it up. Yeah. They gave him shackles on his arms yeah and the shackles on his feet mm. so they gave him no freedom right but every day he would get food right yeah and that food was soup mm. and i don't know how he knew this but salty salty like liquids can rust locks like metal oh so what he did every day he got the soup every Word. day on the lock so it started rusting over yeah. time that's a that's a sodium oxide <laughs> <laughs> on the on the feet boom as soon as that thing escaped again yeah and then he visited he literally i think he went outside once he think and visited his friend's friend's restaurant mm. but his friend was actually a police 
and he snitched on him oh, and fuck. he went back to jail. Wow. So imagine that. You escape. You go to your friend's restaurant. Yeah. He's actually police. Yo, I just escaped, fam. What the fuck? <laughs> Two days after, he got a thing. So now this is the fourth and final escape. Once he was there, he, um, the guards really thought he was depressed. Yeah. Just because he was always sleeping in his bed. Because after that, he's like, fuck, I don't want anyone to escape like the fourth time. Yeah, yeah. Because how's he going to escape? Exactly. Whole time, it turns out, under his bed, the the wood, he took it out and put all the wood planks on his bed mm. and covered it with a blanket. That's why they thought it was him, yeah, him sleeping, sleeping all the time. Now, with the now he had the ground, the wood was gone. He dug holes with the soup bowl. Whoa. <laughs> with the soup bowl. And then once he got out, he was free. They never, I don't think they ever got him back. They never got him? No, that's why he has oh, a, shit. a fucking statue. Yo. I, I think his statue is like this too. <laughs> See, you know what I think that is? I what? think that's a case of like, because he was so innocent. Yeah. He got out. Yeah. I think because he, he truly was innocent mm. and he so got like out like that. God, God like gave him that. Yeah. yeah. Like he was, he was meant, that was like his karma. Like he's yeah. going to get out. True. What do you think he's like? So I don't know if I said this before, but there's uh -huh. like this, um, there's this narco narco saint. You ever heard about the narco saint? Narco saint, no. Nah. What is that? What is so that? it's almost like this saint in um in Mexico. Okay. It's not a saint saint, but yeah. it's like this criminal leader that people look up to like, oh, he's the hero. Okay. So maybe that guy, he turned into a hero himself. Mm. Almost like, you know, Robin Hood? Oh yeah, of course. Do you think Robin Hood is real? Robin Hood. Mm. To be honest, no. No, you don't think Robin and Hood that, is real? I feel like that's just a fictional story. But I swear I told the story where it's like, there's actually real Robin Hoods. What do you mean? Like, where, oh where, yeah, well, people steal from the rich, from give the to rich the poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told this before. That has to be true. Yeah, that has to be true. For sure. Yeah, in a sense, that's like all criminal organizations. Yeah. But I, I don't think, yeah. <laughs> but, but I don't think it's like a guy in like a, in like a whole suit and it's like thing. It's probably just like regular people. No, I think, I think Robin Hood could have been real. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me check. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey Siri, was Robin Hood real? Let's see. Oh, so check this out. Uh -huh. While most contemporary scholars have failed to turn up solid clues, uh -huh. medieval chronicles took for granted a historical Robin Hood lived and breathed during the 12th and 13th century. Mm. The details of their accounts were very widely, however, placing him in conflicting areas and era. So I think he was real. So there, there's no there's no um, name to him because he yeah. was obviously anonymous. Mm -hmm. No, but but back then that that was uh what ninjas did in Japan, like steal from the rich. Oh and yeah, ninjas. So that, I guess that was the Robin Hood of the of Asia. There's nothing like that feeling of going outside for a hike, run, or even just a walk in the park. Facts. During those times, we usually feel the most at ourselves. Now, what if I told you you can get that whole experience in a bottle? Shout out to our sponsor, Every Man Jack. Their men's care products feature naturally derived ingredients, outdoor inspired scents, and responsible packaging. So we spend a lot of time thinking about what we put in our bodies, but what we put on our bodies is just as important. Every Man Jack care products use the best ingredients nature can offer. It's a better solution to your hygiene rather than using that neon goop with those body washes and Facts. those ingredients you can't even pronounce. How do you feel when you put on Everyman Jack, Gavin? I'm gonna give you three words. One with nature. So before with my three in one body wash, my hair used to feel so dry, but with Everyman Jack, I promise you guys, my hair has been feeling so healthy. So from body wash, deodorant, skincare products, to shampoos, bombs, and oils to nourish and tame your hair and beard. Make every day feel like an adventure with scents inspired by the great outdoors. Everyman Jack works exceptionally without any harsh chemicals like parabens or dyes that can be abrasive to your skin and making it feel dry. Their products use clean, natural, naturally derived ingredients to make your skin feeling great. Every man jacks men's care. Naturally derived, outdoor inspired. Look for them at Target, Walmart, or Amazon, or go to their website, everymanjack.com. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click. Rollback activewear. Yes, sir. The best way to describe rollback is best fit and best feel. When it comes to quality, rollback takes it to a new level. Their performance polos, Q-zips, and hoodies bring a new meaning to the word comfortable. So first, you see it, the performance hoodie. So these are a total game changer. 
changer. So these may be the softest, stretchiest hoodies in the game. So from college athletes to professionals to content to creators like us, people can't take them off. And the best feeling is when you see another person wearing a rollback hoodie and then you give them a subtle nod of approval. I'm telling you, bro, rollback got me feeling comfortable whenever I'm working out, whenever I'm in the gym. Mm. It's the perfect material. Plus, it gives me that sense of motivation whenever I put on this workout gear. It gets me amped and ready for my training. Trust me, guys, this is an essential for your closet. Thick spring and summer is approaching, so it's getting hot out there. Mm -hmm. You guys definitely want to get your hands on this. So do yourself a favor and use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, and go to Roback.com for 20% off your first order. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, and that's 20% off your first order on all polos, Q-zips, hoodies, and t-shirts. The link will be down in the description. Make sure to click it. Mm -hmm. Did you know the samurai, they were just like, um, they they did everything for the kingdom. They, oh, yeah. they, weren't, sure. they weren't like their own thing. Like they were, I think the word samurai is to serve or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because you know how... Um, uh, you, the people in uh, Britain, yeah, like the the queen is surrounded by the guys who step like oh Queen's Guard, Queen's Guard, yeah, yeah, they do it strictly for the queen. But now samurai is like nah, the whole country, fam. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And you know how the samurai like um if you if they taste defeat, you know what, what happens? happens? What happens? You don't know about that? No, bro, I forgot the exact word. What but happens? if if you ever capture a samurai. Okay. If you ever cap even in World War II, yeah. if any of the Japanese were captured, uh -huh. what did they do? They had a sword with them. Okay. Right? They took out the sword. Yeah. Super sharp. Samurai blade. Flip it around. And cut their stomach open. What? Yeah. That's just how they go just out. Just because it's like thing? That's it was like their their way of honoring their death. So Yo. they wanna they wanna go out they wanna go out that's, as a warrior. That's so different, man. I swear it's like that shit only happens in Asia. Like in Asia is so like um stick to the tradition. If this doesn't happen, then mm. you gotta kill yourself, fam. That's like that's like the the way, it's like bro. Honor is it, honor is very important. Yeah, thing. it's it's honor you know thing. That's yeah. an honor thing. Yeah, it's like you wanna go <laughs> you wanna go by a by a real exactly. by a real one. And if, exactly. these, they, these guys ain't real ones. I'm going out yeah. myself. <laughs> So I died by real one. <laughs> like my favorite, my favorite scene in uh in any movie is the Jaden Smith when Jackie Chan's like, why why do you want to go back out there? Cause sir, I'm still scared. <laughs> Bro, I, I was a kid and I was so inspired by that shit. I literally did Taekwondo sh just because that quote, fam. Yo. Like, you don't understand how much that quote means to me. <laughs> my, fa my favorite scene from that is, yeah. um, you know where he's wearing the, the sando? Uh, okay. The, the tank top, right? Yeah, yeah. The white tank top. Yeah. And, and he's just training and he's doing like the splits and shit. <laughs> yeah. And he's punching the clothes line. Yeah. That's my favorite scene, just oh, yeah. in the sando. For sure. I, I went and got all my sandals ready. <laughs> Put that shit on and start working out, bro. <laughs> Did the splits thing? Yeah. <laughs> no. But I had to be wearing that. I yeah. had to be wearing that. I couldn't wear no t-shirt. Yeah. I couldn't be shirtless. I had to wear the sando fam. Yeah. But to be honest, I feel like um now after seeing like the shit with the with the Smith family, yeah. the movies with them don't even hit different no more. Because now all I think about with Jaden Smith is remember he was like, guys, can we just talk about the political oh, yeah. <laughs> and economical state of the country? <laughs> that is so loud. It's like, Jaden, we're at recess. <laughs> Jaden, we're at recess, man. Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> but you have to realize, like, he grew up. No, he grew alongside, up weird. No, alongside Jackie Chan, fam. What do you mean alongside? It, it, the movie, like, he grew up with superstars. Like, his dad was a superstar. Everyone around. Oh him yeah, was his dad's fucking Will Smith, that's of course. Fucking, that's, crazy. that's why he's gonna turn out different. Yeah. No matter what, if you're if you're a child of a celebrity yeah. like that big, that's why I'm so curious how like um North is gonna turn out. Northwest. Who's that? Who's North? Northwest. Oh, uh, Kanye. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, to like be honest, I feel, I, I feel like North is gonna, because their household is already fucked. Because I seen, I see <laughs> Pete Davidson holding holding one of the Kanye's child, and I know Kanye is not letting that slide. Mm. Kanye is coming out with Donda three next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just fuck Pete, fuck Pete, fuck Pete. <laughs> <laughs> all the tracks. <laughs> Damn, that's a tough one, bro. Yeah. Like, I want to stay away from that topic, though. Okay, okay. I want to stay away from that. Let's go back to Jaden Smith. Okay, okay. Jaden. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the political and economical state of the world right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. The why did he even say that? I don't know. Here's what I think that is. He Here's what I was so sick saying that, too. I think, I think why... I Do you agree? There's like um, there's like a culture that's trying to, like, out-woke you? To be honest, you're doing that. Me? Yes. 
How? Yo, you know what's so crazy? Yeah. So I think in the first episode, you're like, you're like, I never like we talked about the the woke and the yeah, yeah, woke, yeah. and you're like, I never want to be known as like the woke guy. <laughs> no, but, but you I turned into like this <laughs> monk preaching uh theory guy, and you ha- kind of have to be on a, a different level of. I guess reality because we yeah. have to go. <laughs> no, that's true. Exactly. Though I guess, I guess that's kind of true. You, yeah, you cut to a normal person. Yeah. you're crazy. Like to a normal person. I guess. You're crazy. Yeah. I guess. Exactly. Exactly. But like, what I'm saying is, no, no. But I, do I try to outwoke people? No. Like, I don't specifically try. Like, oh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. I cringe, but it's the fact that you still have to go through something. No, but I think that's just what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I, I think like any anybody that's on like um like a different wave of thinking, like you're yeah. gonna look at them different. Exactly. But yeah, that's why that's why I never like to say. I mean, I say shit out loud, yeah. and then God humbles me mm. by by putting stuff in in the way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what were you gonna say about Jaden Smith? <laughs> oh no, I think he's just trying to outwork us, bro. Yeah, it, it's it's to a point where it's cringe, man. It can't be media training. No way, it's media training. That's nah. him. That's him. That's him. But I don't, I don't, I don't blame him just because like that's how he grew up. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think it's more of um his? his own childhood like uh influences that made him like that or is it yeah. through what he wants to be i mean to be honest Jaden's always wanted to be different he wants to be portrayed as something yeah Jaden's always wanted to be different you know there was rumors too yeah. that um Jaden smith was uh what do you call this tyler the creator's boyfriend oh yeah i remember that yeah, I remember he was that like shit. he was on stage he was like oh i don't know if you guys know this but that guy right there, he's yeah. my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember bro, that. I'm like, bro, just because Tyler is doing so good in the rap game and then he comes out or or he comes out as gay, mm. like, doesn't mean you have to do it too. Just be yourself, bro. <laughs> Nah, he know, might be. He might be though. I know, but, yeah, but I think no, he is. He okay, is. yeah, but at the same time, I I feel like it was a, a weird like force. Like he's just really forcing to be different. Yeah, and he's taking more steps, like public steps, to to try and get it the word out. Because mm. Tyler never, never n- announced that he was gay, right? But no, he did, didn't he? No, through kind of subtle, subtle hints to his albums. Oh, right? okay. But Jaden is like, that's my boyfriend. Like, oh. come on, bro. Like, come yeah. on. Bro. Maybe I think that was a publicity stunt. Exactly, exactly. It's so hard to tell, like, like what's publicity have, or yeah, what's like bro. real now. Exactly. It's hard to tell, what man. It's real? hard to tell. <laughs> Yo, stop, stop. Yo, this has got as a trademark. Now. <laughs> it's you know what's funny? Yeah. So. Whenever um you remember the juice roll song? What was the song? Um uh, what was it? Um All these girls. No, 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 the, the one that blew up. Uh yeah, all these girls the same or um, No, the other one. It's it's so crazy I don't remember the name now. In a minute, and then is that the same one? No. <laughs> the the juice roll song that blew up blew up. <laughs> oh, oh uh, wait, um wait. something dreams, right? Lucid dreams? Lucid dreams. Oh my god. That's how you know we're living in 2022, bro. That's how you know we're living in Damn, it I was would called Lucid Dreams. It was Lucid Dreams. I would never forget that name yeah. like if it was a couple years ago. Like I yeah. know that like quick. Facts. That's crazy. Okay. Facts. Anyways, anyways. When Lucid Dreams like first dropped, mm-hmm. and then we we were talking because it was only like what like 5,000 plays. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> so I told my sister, I told my sister like, yeah. Watch this guy. Uh-huh. This guy's gonna be this guy's gonna be huge because uh-huh. Illuminati told me. I told her. I said because Illuminati told me. <laughs> and then anytime, listen, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. So anytime I found an artist that yeah. was on there, like that's gonna explode, yeah. Billie Eilish. I think Billie Eilish. She only had like shit, like ten k followers at the time. Yeah. And I wanted to go to her concert just uh-huh. because I liked her music. Okay. And I told my sister like, watch this girl. Uh-huh. She's gonna blow up because Illuminati told me. I told yeah. her because Illuminati told me. No, no, no <laughs> lie. I thought um, Billie Eilish was an industry plant. I don't think so. At first, at first, yeah. At first, but but then and Claro too. I, I, I don't like think so. Claro, Ian Dior, and Billie Eilish are the big Ian Dior probably. But how? But how do you know that? But he blew off a TikTok. No, but he had like connections like quick. Or, but Billie Eilish and Claro had the same thing. Billy, uh, nah. Bro. Oh no, Cl- uh, Claro had the same thing though. Her dad is literally an industry like part of the industry, a big manager. Uh, so you know. can tell she was. An Maybe I'm biased. Player. I like Claro stuff. I like Claro too. Like she's cool. I don't know. Well, okay, but Billie Eilish, I know for sure, like, mm-hmm. was an industry plan. Okay, okay. Because she had, like, her own underground yeah. for a, a long time. She was yeah. indie for a long time. True, true. And then she became, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just crazy, like, holy shit. How do, how do you explode to this small of a thing and then mm-hmm. become, like, so big within, what, three yeah, years? I two know. years? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I know. It is fam. The, 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 all the fans that are watching, we have a lot of fans. That's crazy. In a year and a half? True. That is true, yeah. stuff. So. <laughs> how did we do that? So what's what's I what? Still don't know. <laughs> <The> Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 
<laughs> well, listen, listen. So, so I kept up that game of telling my sister like any anytime I think something's gonna blow, I'm like, oh, yeah, the, yeah. Illuminati told me. Okay, okay. You'll see, cause Illuminati told okay. me. Okay. I, I always tell her that. I always tell her. Who that. was the next one? The next one. Who's who's like a a big? I guess um, any athlete, any uh thing that's going to become popular because mm. you know how everyone becomes jordan pool surprisingly got popular <laughs> the nba player yeah and it's kind of crazy how because he's playing good exactly how he's matched with the splash bros and his last name is pool oh like, that's, that's kind of that's kind of weird the illuminati set that up properly <laughs> <laughs> did they give him powers you know what <laughs> <laughs> it's all like code names yeah <laughs> that has all code names <laughs> yo me <laughs> Add pool to the Splash Brothers. Yo, we have swim practice. Yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? Add pool. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so I think... Wait, you're asking me... um, who, Like who in the music industry, any athlete that you feel like is going to blow up really big? The next person that's going to blow prediction. up? Let's prediction right now. Because hmm. Loki, we've all... We've been like close to perfect with all our predictions. Hmm. That's hard to say because there's, there's no one I can specifically pinpoint. Okay. How about you? Do you know someone you can specifically pinpoint? Uh, in the underground right now, destroy lonely. He's gonna have a big year into in the next two years. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be one of the biggest artists. The next Playboy Cardi, mm -hmm. like Playboy Cardi type, type fame, not Playboy Cardi. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Playboy Cardi's done his his run? No. Did he's you not. see his new shit? Yeah. <laughs> he's I like clown faced. <laughs> like he's actually turning into like a new thing. How, how, but he canceled his concert, man. Yeah, no. I had tickets to the concert. I think, I, th I think his new stuff, his new stuff, he's going from trap uh, rap, uh metal. Yeah. To, he's actually just going to produce all metal now. He's like ro rock oh, star. Oh, really? Rock star GG Allen Really? Type That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I miss that feel like, I feel like the metal, metal hasn't been explored enough. Cause mm. you know how it, they've done R and B rap, R and B. Um, I mean rap. No, it's it's just a cycle, bro. It's honestly just a cycle. Exactly. Just um, it's like what what was popular, let's say, in the eighties, seventies, yep. coming back nineties, two thousand. It's like constantly turning and twisting. Yes. yes. Like I feel like the nineties that were kind of in that like nineties two point mm, Yeah. Where everybody's wearing baggy clothes, <laughs> everybody's listening to R and B, yeah. like you know, like blast, like sure, all of yeah. these people making sure. those music. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. It's like two point mm -hmm. of those genres. Mm -hmm. So after R and B came um the pop punk. Yeah. Like Blink One Eighty Two, um, uh, Bullet from My Valentine, all those mm -hmm. all those type of bands. And then who's popular? MGK, MGK. Um, Willow Smith, you know what I mean? Olivia yeah. Rodrigo. Yeah, it's true. literally the exact same thing. So after that, what was it next? Uh -huh. Metal? No. What was it? Rock? No, listen, not even. What? It was popping bottles in the eyes. Mm, mm, mm. And then there's a- What genre is that though? That's like, like club, club, bro. Cl oh, that's club. That's like house. I forgot about club. So listen, that's my, that's my, that's my like oh, uh, prediction. Oh, you're so right. You're that's so my right. prediction. The next music, the that. next like big wave is going to be like um, Timbaland, fucking like Neo even. Yeah. Shit, like all of those like club beats. Shit, look at um, here we go. Rocketeer. Oh my God. It, you know what I mean? Like a yeah. G6. Yeah. Um, What's your name? Kesha? Kesha. All that sound is going to get like um, evolved into, yeah. into that sound 2.0. They're doing it. They're doing it right now because they're using the old samples. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. yeah, you're right. But Fergie, like, Fergie, Fergie, Black Eyed Peas. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I guarantee you right now. I guarantee you right now. They're going to make a return? No. If Black Eyed Peas doesn't come out with like a new album, there's going to be a Black Eyed Peas 2.0. Oh, I guarantee oh, it right now. Shit. I guarantee that nah, shit. <laughs> there will be. There will be. There's going to nah. be somebody that's going to be like a Black Eyed Peas 2.0. Oh, and they're going to sure. they're gonna go crazy. Fuck, why don't we just do that? I'll just be the, I'll be the, the will I am. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, what, what's it called? A Daft can, Punk? Daft oh, Punk. Oh, Daft Punk. Yeah. No, to be honest, we could just be the new uh, Rocketeer. <laughs> <laughs> Far East Movement. Far East Movement. Yeah, that Far was the East name. Movement. That was the name. Far East Movement. Shout out those guys. <laughs> but nah, but you're right because um everyone, especially club, that, mm. that genre club, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So you know, you know it's coming soon, but quarantine just ended. So what does everyone want to do? Go clubbing, go party. Clubbing. Yeah. This is perfect time exactly, to yeah. release club shit. Mm. And then what comes with that? I think like that whole future aesthetic. Yeah. Right? And I'm kind of into that already. Like, yeah, yeah, true. Like, uh, I want like moon, the moon, the moon type of shit, yeah, yeah. like futuristic looking yeah, stuff, true, true. shiny stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even I the stutter shades. I feel like stutter shades are gonna come back somehow. Stutter shades? You know the the, the blinds <laughs> or um really? shutter shutter no, shades? To be honest, I feel shutter like someone shades? could someone could make that. Someone cool. someone's gonna br bring it back. Yeah, because it's already cool. To be honest, yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of sick. Right now, no, it, it died because of LMFAO. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, those guys are Christian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so that that type of music, I don't think it's coming back. But like yeah. the the Timbaland type of music, Black Eyed Peas, that's I think great, that's that's a great that's gonna prediction. go crazy. Oh my god, that's, that's my great, prediction. Yeah, that's a great prediction. Mm. So I'll, I'll go with the metal stuff. The metal stuff, the yeah, metal, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be hot too, because because yeah. when that all that stuff was happening, much mm-hmm. music, it was like a Green Day was still hot, yes, and the Timbaland was right under. You know what yes, I mean? Yes. Green Day was still up there too. I feel like there's gonna be because that's kind of what MGK is. Yeah. The the whole like pop punk. I know. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I just met an emo girl. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember that juice man. I RIP juice man. I remember going through that juice phase. I literally was depressed just to be depressed. Like you know, <laughs> I was sad. I was sad just because I was sad just because like Yo. Juice World was so hot at the time and he was rapping just straight up sad <laughs> shit. Like I wanted to be sad. Like I wanted to be sad. Damn. Like you, you know how Uzi says, "Um, Kanye's 808 and heartbreak." Yeah, he wanted to be sad just because the album was like very sad. Mm-hmm. That was my Kanye. Like Juice was my Kanye. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. For me, it was X, but I oh, was actually sh- sad. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, no, I feel like X. X just like I was had everyone sad. sad. Yeah, yeah, I was actually sad, bro. <laughs> X did it at the perfect time too. I feel like just everyone in that era yeah, well, was, it was going like, through something. That was, that was like the most disconnected like yeah. year for yeah. some reason. And and so, somehow they took it away for some reason. Yeah, it, it was like the most disconnected year. Like yeah. people were like going through it. And yeah. then all of a sudden Travis dropped Astro World and it changed. And then it changed. Yeah. Whoa, that's kind of weird. Illuminati. No, because nah. that, <laughs> no, that ass Travis had the whole like, you know how his concert? Yeah. His concert had the whole like uh, summoning, you're getting taken. And then who was taken? Why do you think uh, they dropped it right after Astro World to get to get the, the views away from X? Because he was actually the voice of the the people. Mm. You feel me? Why and did they take why did they take X away, bro? Like he was he had like a vision, bro, to change the world. Oh man. It's, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> That's some dangerous talks right yeah, there, bro. Yeah. That's some it dangerous is, talks right there, man. It is, it is. But yeah, um like it, but yeah, um, go, going going to <laughs> why'd you seem so nervous? But yeah, um <laughs> there's this theory about um <laughs> No 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 cause remember cause you're you're talking about X, you're talking about Astro. Yeah. Do you remember the sickle mode music video theory? What what is it? You remember that shit? The sickle mode music video? No. Sickle mode? Yeah. With, no, with we talked kid. about this where where the guy that looked like X and then the and then the asteroid like hit him. Oh in yeah. the music video. Yeah, okay, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. And that's before he died. Oh my god, that's kind of crazy. I no, actually he died and then they dropped it. Holy smoke. <laughs> yeah. There's so much things with X that perfect timing. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It's too it. crazy. It's too crazy. Yeah. I think okay, one thing I, I really wish I one person I really wish was still alive was Pop Smoke. I feel oh, like yeah. Pop Smoke, he was gonna change like the rap sound, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like the the rap sound kind of relapsed. Yeah, it, it kind of sounds kinda, like the same it, again. It was a reset. Yeah, no, it's, it sounds it sounds the same again. Yeah, like it, there was a sound, it started evolving, mm-hmm. and it came back around. But I feel like Pop Smoke was gonna take it somewhere else. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know why these greats are always taken away from us so early, bro. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, do you know that Pop Smoke, he just randomly came home with that deeper voice? Yeah, 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 yeah. His brother, his brother said. Wait. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Our business. <laughs> I think I think it's when he start he start working out. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you do you know the guy um who plays games? Who is that guy that has a really deep voice? Uh, uh who? The guy who played with like Pokemon. Oh, um, a curse is a curse no um ah uh, shit fuck i know who you're talking about it's curse no <laughs> no i don't think it's curse but it's uh something like that curse yeah isn't it it's, hold on maybe curse. it can't be curse corpse 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 <laughs> yeah curse <You're>, corpse <laughs> sounds the same you're close but yeah corpse do you think you know there's a theory his, about him what that that's not his real voice Nah, that is his real voice. <laughs> no, I feel like that's not his. I feel like that's a voice changer. No, that's actually his real voice. I think. Really? I think it's his real voice. Actually. Really? You can. It's probably his real voice, but like he mm-hmm. makes it with himself, though. Yeah. Like he just makes it deeper. You know, it's actually true, true. But there, there's this also, um, you know, Reddit where they have this like all the big Twitch streamers. Yeah. It's called R slash Place. So mm-hmm. every 25 seconds, you can put a block of color in this grid of of bits. So. Fan, what like, is this for? So it, no, it's just like an April Fool's one day thing. Okay. So all the fans of big bases go and draw art. So like, say all of our fans yeah. put bits 
of and made the jumpers logo. Oh, but it's it's, it's kind of like a war. Yeah. Where if uh, Aiden Ross's fan base takes over ours, and, yo, that's and sick. Adds bits, yeah. and you can only place bits every five minutes, I think. Oh, this yeah. is kind of so cool. So it's like, guys, attack it, white it out, white the jumpers out logo. Yeah. And then boom, Aiden's face will be will be uh created with yo, bits. that's kind of crazy. Wait, what is this on? Reddit. On Reddit? Yeah. So it's only a one day thing. When it's is this? R slash place every April Fool's Day. Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Damn. But we should. We should have. Crazy. We should have been in the Discord. We. <laughs> it was so funny because Aiden Ross was like attacking, uh, Br- uh Germany flag, and all the Whoa. Germans <laughs> were literally talking about this guy's a dickhead. This Whoa. guy's a dickhead. Like fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah. And he was whiting out all the flags, Ukraine's flag, shit like that. Whoa. Yeah. So you got hate on him because it's just all all hate. around the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Though. I know. I know. <laughs> I think that's what's gonna be like in uh you know Web 2.0 and stuff. What's that? Or Web 3.0. What's that? Like the the um, oh the the, the, war? the the what's it called the verse fam, what do they, what do they call it again the verse, you know what I'm talking about like you know the the online it's not multiverse it's a word for it metaverse what the oh fuck? online metaverse metaverse yeah. yeah yeah I think that's gonna be what the metaverse is be like oh word so like start your cults now three two one <laughs> no no it's gonna be like it's gonna be like one day it's gonna be like opened up the floodgates yeah. barren wasteland and you can just go ahead like take what you want take what you want take what you want nah, that's scary. i think that's gonna be like a hunger games probably yeah so let's say let's say there's like a like a vr world right mm, yeah. and it's literally just like oh. the earth like yeah. flat like whatever there's there's no buildings up no yeah. nothing up oh my god like an empty minecraft world type shit a vr war would be so fire that'd be crazy that'd be so fire. imagine that'd be crazy imagine, imagine you don't want to go through the war so you just <laughs> all right guys oh shit like we're actually going through it that'd be crazy that's like um in in uh that's like in um i don't know if you watched guardians of the galaxy okay yeah yeah so in guardians of the galaxy they had these like um it's like these 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 spaceships that were fighting their war, uh-huh. but all of the people weren't in the ships. They were in like the base at home, and then they're all like playing playing this game. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all like controlling in like VR but type. The shit. whole time it was actually like <laughs> yeah, but but like they're controlling the actual spaceships oh, they're fighting. That, that's, that's so, so fire. crazy. That's so okay, imagine this. Imagine this. Yeah, yeah. Imagine there's like um human robot like humanoid robots mm-hmm. like um drones like okay. drones but humans yeah. right yeah on some Star Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. And we were all like in the room yeah. playing Warzone, but it's like real life. And we're sending these drone, <laughs> these droids to go ahead and fight the yeah, wars. Yeah, that's fun. That's, that's crazy. Fun. That's crazy. And take this in. Yeah. I think that's going to happen eventually. So it's like everyone who that's good at video games, hop on it right now. Even, we're, we're, yeah. we're sending things to, no, to Maybe. be honest, to be honest, that's such a, that's a, a that safer makes sense. way. It makes sense. A safer way to do war. Yeah. Even though war is fucked up completely. It's just expensive though. That's yeah, the only exactly, thing. Exactly. Oh, true. It's just expensive, but I think we're going to hit like um, a generation where it's yeah. the focus is going to be on that. Oh, on I robots, could, on robots. I could definitely see yeah. that. So I'm going to say it right now. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. If you guys want to invest into anything. Oh, technology. Invest into graphene. What's that? Graphene. Y'all will know later. Oh, okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That's all no, I'm gonna say. Go, go into NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> no, people Special. remember this. People remember this. Oh shit, Carlos said that shit. Facts. And Gavin said go buy a crypto punk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cause I think I think the future we're gonna have yeah. robots, man. Not nah, to be honest. Did you see? It was kind of a crazy fact. I think Elon or something, a uh, big guy who's in technology yeah. said that if you're it doesn't matter if you have the riches like Elon Musk, if you're if you have like 25k, you can send a killer drone to someone. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, you know how in um in COD Black Ops 2, the little thing. In the the co- hunter killer? The hunter killer. What the fuck? I think that's just like 25K. That's not even that. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> Yo. It's not. But, you know, but you have to realize, like, people spend money on Hitman for like 25K. Yo, no, that's crazy, Gavin. Listen, listen, yeah. listen. So, to, to have the, so what, the, if, what if there is like, yo, how do you track down a drone? You can't. You can't. It's up in the sky and it comes Yo. down right away. Wait, wait, wait. Are there laws? Let's say, let's say you make a robot oh, and that laws? robot like kills somebody. Are you responsible for their crimes, or is the robot responsible for theirs? Oh my! No, don't even start this. Yo, Yo that's fucked. Because they won't even go to Yo, jail, bro. The robot can't go to jail, can it? What if it has? What yeah. if it has feelings? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> nah, this is getting the twisted, ro- the bro. The robot has feelings. Listen, so- listen. Wait, is it? Is there laws already about it? No, right? About kill uh, someone killing through something else let's say i make let's say i make like a robot 
Mm. Right? And then that robot has a purpose to kill I, someone. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think you would be... Oh, no. Would, I, would I be... Because I made the robot? What if when I made the robot and it was gifted somebody no, and then the, they, they like said it to somebody? I think it was in law class because there's a lot about emotions. Okay. Right? So if a robot does have feelings and it's doing his own thing, yeah, you created it, but it went on its own path and he did it or oh, she did shit. it. Oh, shit. So if we give it emotions, but it's still programmed to do that, yeah, then yeah, it, that, only the robot goes only, to jail? But fam, is there even robot laws? Like there's not. I don't right? think that's what, that's what we're breaking down right now. Is it robot laws? Oh, shit. That's fucked. No, that's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm, actually gonna, I'm actually interested in this. I'm gonna search it up after. Yeah, because like, let's who, say- Who would go to jail? Okay, I have a question too. Yeah. So- I know, like, if you have a dog and your dog, like, kills somebody. You're not liable for that? You you get, like, manslaughter, but you don't, okay. you don't get for murder, right? Oh, it's just like a fine. Or is that attempted murder? Mm. <laughs> Imagine they just put the dog in the jail. <laughs> no, like, let's say, let's say I train a dog yeah. and then he becomes, like, a beast, right? <laughs> okay, and then, yeah. like, I leave him in your house. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's I leave you. in your house and I cut. That's you though. That's okay, well, okay. What if, what if I open the door? <laughs> for all the no, listen, listen. And then, and, then, no, listen. and then, like, I, 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 like record the whole shit, right? Yeah. So I, I give him a GoPro, everything. I just open the door and then he does his own thing, and he happens to, to find your house. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, that's. Nah, I don't think that's possible. Yo. but I feel like just because you open the door, you're still liable. Because I open the door. Actually, no, but if if he goes out and kills some, okay. What if what if he runs away and I I, I play like no, come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like wait, <laughs> in the back of it, like, oh yeah, you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. You train the dog. It's like go get that I, shit, boy. Go get that shit. If, if I say if I say boy, it's like oh go get uh come back, come back. That means attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's so fun. yo. That's so fun. There's some loopholes, man. Yeah, there's some loopholes. That's so funny. I remember uh, my cousin, her her like ex. Yeah. The dog only replied in Russian. Replied in Russian? Yeah, or like only understood Russian. What? So yeah, so all the commands it's in Russian. Really? Yeah. How did they, no, so your cousin knew Russian though to start. No, with. no, no, my cousin's ex. Okay, okay. Ex had a dog. Had a dog and he was Russian, he was Russian. Russian. He was oh, Russian. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Show us. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck did you know Russian? <laughs> That God, Rosetta Stone, bro. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Bilingual. Uh, no, we actually have to search up those laws, though. But nah, did you see? I think it was Johnny Depp, too. It was very sad. Mm. He was in court and his girlfriend. Oh, um, he was abusing Amber Heard. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, the, it was the saddest story. He's like, oh, uh, we were fighting and I was going to the door. Mm. She stepped in front of the door and I asked her, do you want to hit me? Yeah. Like, And then she was like, boom, she hit her. He's like, did that make you feel good? He's like, do you want a second one? Like Johnny Depp, the way he was telling it, it was so sad. It was like wow. he was like he was like powerless. Damn. I know. Did you know that? that he yeah, was like, I know. I know all about this. I know all yeah. about this. It's sad, bro. It's yeah. sad because um, I think it's tough when when a guy gets in, involved in a situation like that. Yeah. It's it's very hard to like admit <clears throat> you were you know what I mean abused taking abuse taking yeah. advantage of by your wife whatever yeah, you know yeah. what I mean that that's kind of like you don't want to talk about it mm -hmm, yeah our society is like oh it should i guess that shit is usually the other way yeah, around it's usually the other way around but exactly the, the, either way yeah it's still messed up it's still yeah. messed up like exactly. he deserves free up johnny man. free up johnny, free up johnny i know he looks so like out of it what sucks this is what i hate the most is um yeah. i don't know if you knew this so cool. johnny depp right yeah. when when this whole allegations happened with him it was actually the opposite okay. so people thought he was abusing her oh and word. they were gonna make pirates of the caribbean like the next one. Wow. And he got canceled by Disney because of this. No and way. And he hasn't been casted ever since. In anything, in anything. Damn. Because of that. And what was Amber Heard in? Uh -huh. Fucking Aquaman. She was in Aquaman like the next month or some shit. Nah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. You know, you know they don't want to cast Will and Jaden anymore together? Like that was the together, ongoing why? thing. Because um, I think Jaden, uh, since he didn't want to piggyback off his dad, he didn't want to be known as like... Oh, I want to piggyback with my dad. So he's like, oh, I don't want to cast with my dad anymore. Don't cast me. So right after, um, what's that big movie that everyone loves with Jaden? Oh, Pursuit of, Happiness? Pursuit of Happiness. No, there was another one after though. Yeah, there was another after, one after Earth. Yeah, after Earth, and that was the last one they actually did. Because after he went into um, Karate Kid. Oh, was it? Yeah, I thought no, Karate Kid was before after. Yeah, something something like that. Yeah, but then yeah. they they casted him again because he's like, fuck that. Yeah. Let, let me use my. Because to be honest, I would use that advantage too. To to. Get famous? Yes, use every advantage you have in the book because life is already unfair. True. That's a oh, that's a bar. <laughs> True, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I that's agree. a bar. Just as long as it's ethical, don't like... Yeah, yeah. 
Because <laughs> you can use every advantage, but using an advantage means somebody else is disadvantaged. That's that yin and yang. Mm, feel true, me? True. That's that. That's that warrior balance. Feel yeah. me? That, that's when the ego comes in. You feel me? The ego. Yeah, you just do it just because it's like fuck, fuck the disadvantage. I'm using the advantage. Yo, see, that's not ethical, man. But, but, but is it? But there's always a right where you have to think about yourself, right? There's all no, it, but it, that's that's the whole that's the whole debate. Mm-hmm. That's that's exactly the whole conflict is. Yeah. Are are you gonna? In a sense, business is taking somebody else's money. Yeah, true. That's all it is. Yeah. You know what I mean, like you pay for somebody else's suffering. Oh yeah, I'm a, yeah. That's deep, right? That's that's really all it is. It's just like if if I take your money, mm-hmm. I give you something in return, right? Yeah, yeah. But in a sense, you took something from me. From it was just you. a trade of it. Yeah, I guess. I guess. So I mean, like some things are ethical, some things are not ethical. In a sense, look, Nike. Mm-hmm. You think you think. Come on now. Holy man. You know $12 like, shoes, fam? Yeah, you know what I mean? For 200 Are you crazy? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, Are you crazy? In in a sense, all of those huge companies, they're unethical, but yeah. you know, At it the is end what of it day, is. Business is business. Do you, have, do you have to have a big ego to run a business? Just because you know you're taking the suffering, so that's how much you charge. That's the philosophy right exactly. there. <laughs> do, you, do you read any like philosophers? Like nah, to Emmanuel honest, Kant? I, I have to, oh, Emmanuel Kant, I yeah. used to in uh, grade 10, 11. Yeah, yeah. Because we were doing it in religion, so I, I was true, forced true. to read yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> but no, nah, I have to get into those still. Mm-hmm. Like utilitarianism, yeah, yeah. all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it was funny because we. I remember um, one of our friends, when we were both dropping clothing, he was like, oh yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a get yours and your friend's brand, right? Mm. And then he was like, how much is his hoodie? And then I remember you, <laughs> you dropped your shit for like 150. No, it was then, more. <laughs> it was more. And then, and then he's like, oh yeah, in conclusion, I will not be getting <laughs> like, honey. No, I think it was like 190 no it was 190 us <laughs> but it sold out with like literally yeah. five minutes yeah that ass and then he was like he was like oh i'm gonna flip a coin whoever gets it like i'm buying it because i can't buy both yeah <laughs> that's true oh my god yeah. i should i should bring back those um those one of ones to be honest i feel like that that yo that that era, whole collection is gonna be worth yo, so much era, money no, man. T- no tell me that era that era where we started the podcast and i had the pretty boy and you had the the oh what was it you had, was it the reflective? Yeah, it's reflective. Yeah, the reflective one of ones. Yeah, oh, that that's what I'm saying. The re- the reflective one of ones. I have a tag yeah. on it that says, "Um, from the depths of my mind to your garment." Yeah, yeah. One of one, Carlos Wico. Oh my god. And I'm pretty sure I forgot how much I dropped. It might have been mm-hmm. twelve. Mm-hmm. Whoever has those sweaters, yeah, I promise y'all, those are gonna be worth a lot in the yeah, future. Yeah. Well, what are your thoughts? Because I like- don't even have one myself. I, yeah, same. I don't have any of my clothes. I don't have one myself. I started. I started buying more so I can have extra pairs. Yeah, because I know it's gonna be legendary in a few years. You <laughs> well, feel me? I need. To, I need to get some for myself. I don't even have I one. Have to, I have to order. I have to ask my friend if I could use it for a video. <laughs> like that's how bad it got. Damn. But but what what are your thoughts on like people reselling your art? Reselling it? Yeah, because I feel like we never talked about this. I think I think once it's out of my hands, then you do whatever you it want is. with it. You can cut it up. You can like, yeah. you know what I mean? You can do whatever you want with True. it. Because Loki, I started getting pissed when everyone was on like eBay and started selling the Pretty Boy hoodie for way more profit. And I kind of got mad at myself. I'm like, fuck, I should have I should have priced it more because I know it's going to resell more. But at the end of the day, it's like, uh, I, I was broke at one point. Mm-hmm. So let me, and I know that feeling of, oh shit, I can't buy a hoodie because it's too expensive. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm going to just price it at 80. It's always going to be 80. True, true, true. Do you want to see my new drop, bro? Huh? You want to? You want? You want to see my new drop? Yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. It's different. It's like, okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. Like my new drop, it's gonna be like a lot of people aren't gonna like it, but the people that love it really love it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. I I wanna get. I wanna get your opinion. There's about to be a big Illuminati sign on the back, and on the receipt, there's gonna be a little message. All right, bro. Okay. Okay. Right, let me see, let me see. Hold on. Let, let oh, me. it's a DIY? Listen, listen, listen. That's hard. Listen, listen. Hold on, I seen right. it. So, the way with streetwear is going, the reason why, I don't know, I fell out of love with streetwear. Yeah. It's too much of the same, bro. Mm. It's too much of like, when I did Wico Studios, Yeah. I wanted like innovation. Uh huh. I put reflective on the socks. Okay. On the hoodies, blah, blah. Yeah. And I died it. Hold on, I ran upstairs, so I'm out of breath. I know, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways... I, I wanted I wanted to drop another hoodie or another line of hoodies, right? Yeah, yeah. Because for a long time I didn't drop hoodies. I just did T-shirts because mm-hmm. T-shirts were easy. I just want to do my fun designs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I'm getting back into like the my cream. design my designs that I had, but I didn't think the world was ready. Yeah, because I have a bunch of like designs like same. 
they're too crazy, but like, let, let me hold off on yeah, it. Yeah. Let me hold off on it. Mm -hmm. And then this is one of them. Okay, let me see. So, on the back of it, okay, there's a message. Okay, let me see. So it says, "I miss kindergarten arts and crafts. I miss those projects where there would be a few instructions of a creation." But once that was completed, you can do anything you wanted with it. That's so remember so in tough. kindergarten, yeah, you were given a piece of paper. Oh, we shit. have we have these like these instructions, like yeah, you cut yeah. it this way, cut it this way. You can make an art piece. Yeah. So, so once you were completed with that, you can do anything you wanted to it to really make it your art. Yeah. Right. That feeling right there. That's what inspired the collection. That is toughy. Hold on. So pretty Wait, much so what people you can, can do. Actually listen, cut this. I go live. It's that meant. Would... It's meant to be cut. However you want. Yeah. So you can cut out a triangle. You can cut out a circle. <laughs> I do it. You can cut out a square. Why a triangle? I'm kidding. Or you can cut it out like even incomplete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can have one flap hanging off, mm -hmm. whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So this hoodie is pretty much a blank canvas. You can you can wear it like this yeah. if you want. Mm -hmm. You can wear it wherever you want. But what I'm selling, I'm selling that is feeling. Is I'm, ex experience. I'm selling the experience of... Yeah. Here's the instructions of that creation. Just like mm -hmm. in kindergarten, just like in elementary school, like yeah. we had those arts and crafts to make. I haven't had that feeling in so long. Yeah, facts. So I'm like, I want to make something that gives that. To be honest, that's a hard design. That's a hard concept. I know I know a lot of people are not going to get it. Not a lot of people are going to get it, yeah. You're not going to... You're not gonna rock a hoodie that's like cut up. You yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah. But, but the ones that will, mm -hmm. they're gonna rock it. But listen, just listen. The reason, the reason I really wanted to get into that open space too, that yeah. cut open, mm -hmm. is because I, because I look at as much as it doesn't look like, uh -huh. like the way I dress and stuff. Yeah, I actually look at a lot of high fashion. True. Like I look at a lot of like mm -hmm. the the upcoming uh, summer or spring collections. Like yeah, I did yeah. ask look at them. Yeah, and a lot of them. Whether it be um big one is like Mason Margella. Oh yeah. They do a lot of they do a lot of cut opens, yes, like open bro. space. Yes, Look bro. at uh off white. Mm -hmm. Like holes, yeah. blah blah blah. The, the hoodies with the the you can attach. Yeah, exactly. Pad. One of one of the big ones is like no sleeves, blah mm -hmm. blah, shit like yeah. that, right? So that I kinda wanna like take my own take on it. Oh, that's funny. Because for the summer, you're not mm -hmm. gonna be wearing a full hoodie. You want like yeah. some air vents and that shit. That feel ass, me? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's true. That's just the way you can do it. That's true. So you can rock this in the summer when it's hot yeah. and it's it's a hoodie, you're comfy, but it's still like, you know, aired out. No, that, that's a fire design. I rate you for that. That's nice. That's, 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 I 100% rate you for that. Yeah. And then I, I don't think I've, I've seen that. No, no, nobody's ever done it. That's yeah. the thing. Because anytime I do something like this, because the t-shirts, I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. The t-shirts I really wanted to do, but they're more like my fun designs. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I just want to get out of the way. Like yeah, yeah. here I can drop these, right? For sure, for sure. But the bigger mm -hmm. designs of the ideas I have yeah. in my head, like the hats I did, mm -hmm. they're still not ready. That's why I never dropped I it. I know, I know. You've been, you've been holding <laughs> the car, on to The those. cargo hats, like yeah. they're still not ready for No, us, but, but that, that's, that's how it works. Like you got to work, work your way up. I'm only dropping like th those clothes so mm -hmm. I can go into what I want to make, which is jewelry. At the end day i want to make jewelry yeah because i'm dope. known for the yeah, jewelry yeah but yeah so shit i think it's time for for a couple of designs like my my yeah. special ones and i want to drop that this ass. one summer man we, we coming man yeah we coming for sure so if you want to call the hoodie link in my it's not gonna drop yet it's not gonna drop yet it's not gonna drop yet but um yeah I'll, I'll leave a link though but to the instagram to the website if you guys want to keep your eye on no that. the links are always are in mine and yours are yeah. in the description oh true yeah, yeah. Like you guys can check that out anytime you want i feel like people don't read descriptions just read the descriptions yo everything's in the description like the other podcasts like the vlogs and yeah. shit are on there you, you know what we do, we have to do I, i've seen it in other podcasts so before they start the episode we mm. plug everything because we plug everything at the end oh we do you're right not a lot of people stay till the end or like You'll get everyone at the beginning. Okay, we'll do it. The next yeah, couple episodes, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, bye, bye. More marketing. All right, we'll wrap it up there. Thank yes, you, sir. everyone, for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Yes, sir. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Listen to Apple, Spotify, all that. Make sure to give us the ratings, five star. Yeah, so hit the links like we said. Yep. If you guys want to watch other podcasts, link in the bio. And yeah, Jumper Jump out. Deuces.